A Whistle Stop Tour of the UK Top 5 Weekend Breaks Brighton and the South Downs In this series of videos I have compiled for my travels what I consider to be the most memorable places in the UK and the destinations I would advise visiting for a weekend break which make a change from the usual city breaks. I have added variety so there is something for everyone and I hope it not only gives you an insight into how beautiful my country is, but also gives ideas for those visiting the UK so you can make the most of your time here. I hope you enjoy them. Don't forget to click the link at the end to move on to the next destination. Brighton Brighton is a very popular seaside resort located in East Sussex. The main attraction of Brighton is the beach, observation tower and palace pier. But apart from its seaside ambience, it is also well known for its variety of shopping, entertainment festivals and events, busy nightlife, plus of course its diverse community and open friendly local people. It has earned the nickname of London by the Sea because of the rich array of attractions it has to offer. Many famous and well-known actors, musicians and celebrities have been attracted to Brighton's creative, fun vibe and atmosphere and have chosen to base their homes here as a result. The Sea Life Aquarium on the seafront dates back to 1872 and is the world's oldest aquarium with over 100 species of marine life. The Royal Pavilion is a fascinating palace to visit and one of England's most unique landmarks. Built originally as a place of pleasure for King George IV, this grand building is a combination of both Regency grandeur with both Indian and Chinese influences. For these reasons and so many more, Brighton is a very popular place to not only visit but also live and offers a perfect base from which to explore the stunningly beautiful South Dawns National Park as it is only a short drive away. The South Downs National Park The South Downs National Park is the newest park within England, located in the counties of Hampshire, West Sussex and East Sussex, established in 2009 covering an area of 1,627 square kilometres. It is renowned for its chalk landscape that can be admired especially well at the White Cliffs of Beachy Head and there are over 3,300 kilometres of footpaths and trails to explore within the area, which is more so than with any other park. The most well-known walking trail is the South Downs Way, a 100-mile route which runs between Winchester and Eastbourne, covering the entire length of the area and offering stunning views along the way. The South Downs are known as the Gateway to England due to their rolling green hills, abundant wildlife and towering cliffs and are considered to be one of the best places in the UK to watch the stars as they light up the night sky. Throughout the South Downs you can enjoy panoramic views over land and sea as you enjoy one of the cliff top walks which conclude at the breathtaking chalk formation of the magnificent Seven Sisters. The best way to get around the South Downs is to drive ideally with your own transport, but if that's not possible it is very easy to catch a train into Brighton and then take a day tour. This is the most populated national park and as a result it is very accessible and an absolute must see to visit. In this video diary I will share my favourite locations with you within the South Downs and they are as follows. Devil's Dyke, Longman of Wilmington, Beachy Head and finally the Seven Sisters at Hope Point. I hope you enjoy. Devil's Dyke Devil's Dyke is a dry valley of 100 metres deep in Sussex and managed by the National Trust. The dyke got its name from a legend that the devil was angry due to the people deciding to convert to Christianity and so as a result decided to dig a dyke through the area so that the sea would flow in and the people would drown in the villages. Today it's a very pretty little spot which is popular with both walkers and paragliders due to the high winds which often blow throughout the valley. The Long Man of Wilmington the Long Man of Wilmington is a giant figure carved into the slopes of a hill 
nearby to Wilmington in East Sussex and standing at 226 feet tall, holding a stave in each hand, his origins and purpose are shrouded in mystery, myths and folklore. Beachy Head Beachy Head in East Sussex and nearby to Eastbourne is without a doubt my favourite area of the South Downs, with its stunning white chalk faces set against vivid blue waters and at 530 feet high it is the highest chalk sea cliff in Britain, providing breathtaking views to the area beyond and on a clear day to the Isle of Wight. The sight of the red and white lighthouse set at the bottom of the cliffs and overlooking the turquoise waters is a sight I shall never forget. It is simply unbelievably beautiful. It was a magical place to visit and I was very reluctant to leave as I'm sure you will be too. Seven Sisters Seaford at Hope Point The Seven Sisters Seaford at Hope Point offers a fantastic view of the majestic Seven Sisters Cliffs, which stretch from Cookmere Haven to Burling Gap in East Sussex. These stunning white cliffs are set along the English Channel and topped with green grassland offer a fantastic vista as the cliffs plunge into the Cerulean Sea below. If you wish, you can take a clifftop walk from Seafoot to Eastbourne for spectacular views. It is a 13.5 mile walk, which will take about 7 hours, but is well worth the effort for the views you will be rewarded with, as it offers the best way to appreciate the Seven Sisters, and the walk is reasonably easy. The South Downs is simply unmissable, but for the best experience, try to visit on a sunny day, to see the vibrant colours of the cliff faces and see below come alive. After an experience like that, why not head back to Brighton for a fish and chip supper on the beach as you watch the sun go down to conclude a truly unforgettable weekend.